would you bet your life that this is something that's doable without a quantum computer in terms of being able to understand some of the more dynamic interactions that go that may go into consciousness i i'm betting my life because i'm spending my 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 time on this problem so i'm betting my life that we that we can do this um i'll give an argument against it and then my reaction so so <clears throat> The one argument that would say we can't solve this problem is we don't expect uh, macaque monkeys to understand quantum mechanics. They, you know, they don't presumably have the concepts that are needed to understand quantum mechanics. I could be the most gifted teacher in the world and try to teach quantum mechanics to them. They'll never get it, not because I'm a bad teacher, but because they don't have the right concepts. And it's quite, one could argue that it's quite possible <clears throat> that Homo sapiens, our species, um, there's no reason why evolution should have shaped us um, with the concepts needed to understand objective reality. And, and so on those grounds, you might say it's a fool's errand to try to get a theory of objective reality um, and, and of consciousness. And we may not be able to do that. And I can't dismiss that argument. Um, it certainly is possible that we don't have the concepts. On the other hand, my attitude is um, we don't know unless we try. And so we have to give it the good old college try, use the concepts that are available to us, and take our best shot at getting a theory of consciousness and, and of objective reality in which consciousness plays a role. Um, and I think that the problem is not that we lack the right concepts. I think the problem is much more mundane. We've just made some assumptions that are to us quite plausible, and we've just not been willing to let go of some assumption that seems so plausible, but turns out to get in the way of solving this problem. And again, the assumption is going to have to be a humdinger because it's going to be something that we all dearly believe. And so it's going to seem nutty, whatever we have to give up. So I'm betting that it's that we can do it, but we have to be willing to let go of some deeply held assumptions to make progress on this. And that is going to be, the, the assumptions that we have to let go of are going to be stunning to us and counterintuitive.